Are you thinking about reaching out to somebody for a potential job opportunity or to ask them some questions about what it's like to have a role like theirs? If so, this week's episode is for you. I'm Siobhan Barnes, founder of the Neon Life Society, and this week I'm going to talk to you about how to ask in the right way. So when you're thinking about where to go next in your career, we can often feel a little bit alone and isolated and feel like we have to figure things out on our own. But in all honesty, one of the best things we can do is ask the right questions of the right people. So what do I mean by that? Well, I mean, you can speak to people who have the job role you're looking for or have started the business that you're looking to start or reach out to people that you admire and would love to work with. Now, that can be super daunting for a number of reasons. Number one, we don't want to look like idiots and go unprepared. Number two, we don't sometimes know how to conduct ourselves or how to ask the questions or even set up a meeting. And number three, it can just quite frankly be very daunting and be easier to stay in strategizing, researching mode. But this is one of the fastest ways that you can figure out that you're actually moving in the right direction and that your expectation of something is actually living up to what you really want. And that's the purpose of reaching out to people. So how do you do this without feeling like you're overstepping the mark and putting your reputation on the line? Well, first and foremost, I want you to think about it in this way. It's not about you. And I say that with love. Obviously, it is about you. We're doing your research for you. But when you're reaching out to someone and technically asking for a favor in terms of time, in terms of their thoughts, in terms of their recommendations for you, you don't want it to all be about you. So for example, if there's somebody you admire at a company that you'd love to work for, you don't just call them up and say, hey, um, I'm really great for these reasons. I want to apply for that job. Pick me. You really want to be adding value to that person. And you don't want to just be sort of saying, I want this, I'm great at that. You really want to start building a relationship beforehand. And look, this can take a little bit more work than just simply saying, get cutting to the chase as to what it is that you want. But I truly believe by taking the time to build and nurture a relationship, you're going to get far better results than just sort of spraying everyone with an email to request for a coffee to then request for a job. So if you are looking at contacting someone, I recommend that you ask yourself first and foremost, what is the intention of this meeting? What do I want to get out of this first meeting? What do I want to get out of this relationship? You know, and it's important to be clear, right? A lot of people think that, okay, I meet this person and ask them about what their job is like. That means I have to go for it. No, ask questions where you're going to get the answers that you need to figure out if that job role is right for you. You know, if you're a creative person and you like to have a bit of license to come up with ideas and execute those, and this place is not about that, this the place you want to work or are thinking about working at has, um, you know, very strict rules as to which ideas are picked and there's a, it's a very regimented process, then yeah, it's not going to be a good fit. And you'll want to know that now so you don't waste time applying and waste the company's time because you'll be unhappy in that job. So think about how you can add value. So as an example, all right, let's say you're looking to move over to a company. There's a person you kind of know and you want to figure out whether there are any opportunities there. The first thing you would do is set up a time to meet with them or get on the phone with them. And you can have firstly an informal conversation, like just to be like, hey, I think you're great or whatever it might be and just have that initial meeting so you've got some contact. And then in between, you would send them something value add to them. And the idea is that you want to get to know what are they focused on, what's their biggest struggle, and generally how you can be of service and how you can help them. That's going to be the most important thing. And then when the time is right, you can call them up and say, look, I've been thinking about that problem that you have, and I've thought of this potential solution. And actually, you know, based on my background, I think I could really help for these reasons, X, Y, and Z. So it's not just about you cold calling somebody and asking for a job off the bat. It's about you getting to know somebody, figuring out what their struggles are, figuring out what they're worried about, figuring out what their goals are, and then reverse engineering a solution where you are the perfect fit. And 
the idea is that when you build this relationship, you get to ask the questions that you need answered as well. So yes, that's their biggest struggle. Like how do they see themselves overcoming that? Does the culture of the firm, you know, allow for that? Really start to understand the other person's perspective. And by doing so, you can understand whether you are a good fit and whether you are um, wanting to be in that job role or whether you want to start that business. Like if those sorts of challenges are things that you want to be doing. So it's really about adopting this curious mindset. So adopt the curious mindset and think of the other person first and ask yourself, how can I add value without asking right away? All right, I wanna hear from you. Are you thinking about making a career change to a different company or perhaps starting your own business? What is stopping you from asking questions from the right people? And what step are you gonna take in the next week to reach out to just one person who can help you make that goal happen. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below.